Right, shelves are dry. I need to cut these ends off, cut the horns off the end. I'm going to use table saw for that. I'm going to pin these bits of scrap on. Hopefully that will minimise the breakout on the ends. Right, they're in. I'm going to take them back out now. Sand this glue off. While I wait for the hinge cutter to arrive. This plywood is from Locris. It's not the best. But it's got a nice thick veneer on the face there. So when you sand with orbital sander, you're not going to go through cheap stuff from Milford's and what have you that's um, Asian ply it's only got like a very thin veneer on the face you can go through that very easily this stuff's called Malayan ply I think Labour's call it Far Eastern but Labour's stuff comes in at about 70mm or even 16mm this is like proper proper 18mm it's not bad ply but you do get some open grain I'll probably end up having to fill that I've stood these back up in place got the numbers on I'm going to put the H back on just to remind me which side is the hinges H for hanging or H for hinges whatever you want to call it they're a little bit snug there's not a lot of gap slightly bowed there I'll pull all this straight when it's on the site when I cut these rails I left the pencil line in when I cut them so I probably gained a couple of mil each time I did that but I prefer them slightly too big, at least I can just plane a little bit off, better than too small. I've cut a lot exactly the same length as the door. Right, I made a mark, 100mm front bottom, transferred that over onto the door. Then there's two marks divided equally between this one which is 100mm from the bottom as well. Put a little T to do signate so the top. But we're going to be working off the bottom. So you have to make sure that's flush when you start. I'm going to square these over and then cut my hinges. I need to set up the router with that first so I'm going to make a a template, a dummy piece. I've got an off cut of door there that I'm going to use. Shiny new cut has arrived. Nice and sharp. Paid for one day delivery, two days later it turns up, but enough said about that. Give it a go.
lovely cut fluff excellent these are sixes five eight sixes it's a self center in but just helps the screw get centered in the hole This is just a template, a test piece. I'm going to cut a little packer, a little spacer piece. These don't sit square, so you just need to kink them up a little bit. 35mm. Could use an adjustable square. I like to use a piece of wood. Marky little templates because they're just bits of wood after all. You can easily get mixed up with the crap. Okay, got my door there. I've screwed the hinges on. I've got a little packer there. It's six mil ply but it's about five mil thick. I'm gonna put my lat that I mark the doors with. Top at the top, bottom. It's gonna sit on that packer. I'm going to mark my lines across onto the door frame and then using the little 35mm piece I use that as a distance, put a line and that line is going to represent where the screws go so I'll put the top one on, hang it and then swing the other ones in. I might have to just lift the door a little bit because it'll hang off that, it'll sag a little bit on that top hinge. But I'll lift these so that they line up with these lines that I'm putting on. That's where the screws are going to fit, like that. So I'll fit the others, and when I hang that one, it'll pull that centre divider 
something like straight so I can fit that dog up to that then and these two should go fairly easily and I know that they're probably going to bang again in the middle because like I said on that one made that too big so these two will be fractionally too big only by millimeters though creepy door but the hardest work's done the machine set up little jigs cut one's hanging fly through the other ones okay all the doors are on they fitted all right to trim them a little bit it's all a bit of a house of cards with nothing being glued together yet these move around a little bit there's a little gap down there so it's not but that should pull up it's pretty much square at the top I've had to just put this brace on just to just to push it over a little bit and it's slightly that brace is pushing it forward a little bit but see the bottoms don't quite go together but if I push it back at the top there they close That gap. Oh, I can't push it back and show you, but it'll be all right for for the job. When I get to site, I can fix it all in place and push it and pull it, put screws in. I need to cut some handles in here. I'm getting finger pull handles, I believe. I need to check that. But they work quite well. this one see the gap it's quite good not too much of a gap at the bottom shelves have been sanded so they're ready to paint Fit it all in. Oh. 